I got nothing but respect for Ric Flair. Yeah. Now, what a lot of people like Ric Flair don't understand, and even Hulk Hogan, little African-American kids, not that I was a kid, but a lot of them, looked up to those guys also. They may not have known it, but African-Americans looked up to them too. You got to realize, we also looked up to Leave It to Beaver and all these fucking shows when we were kids too, because that's all that's on. And if you see the top guys in the wrestling business that are all white guys getting over doing it, that's all that's on. So we admire them too. Mm-hmm. They might not know it, but we do. That's why so many people, African Americans, was disappointed when they heard about the Hogan thing. Right. Which, again, takes us back to the N-word. Right. And that whole Gawker situation. Right. I mean, what do you make of all that? Hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, man, I don't get in fucking people business, as you see, well see. Right. When Hogan them, hey, that's their business. My name is Bennett, and I ain't in it. Yeah. Get out of it at your own will. I really don't have a, I don't really have a comment on it. Yeah. Mm, that's y'all shit. But do you think Hogan can come back? from doing something like that? Or do you, you think that's always going to follow him around kind of like a scarlet letter where he's you know, painted with that and that's it? You might be right. I don't know. Um, I went on the uh, Stephen A. Smith show and he asked me that same thing. And uh, I told him, Hulk Hogan paid, Hulk Hogan put me and my brother in a position to do what we did. We got a push because of Hulk Hogan. And I'll never forget that. And I will always be indebted to him for that. That does not mean I respect what he did. I respect what he, you know, where he is now. I don't know where his mind is. And that's what I was telling Stephen A. Smith. You know, some people can be a drunk, a junkie, and get up every day, and you'll never know it. So you don't think a person can be a just deep embedded racist and not live his day from day to day, live his life from day to day? Yes, they can do that. I don't know what Hulk Hogan's heart is, but I uh I I don't bear any ill will toward Hulk Hogan. That's what he felt at that time. He's never treated me like that. But I'm not saying I'm gonna forget what I heard. Right. If a man apologizes and he really is sincere about his apology, I will forgive him. That don't mean I forget. Me and Hogan has always been cool. I've never had a problem with the man. Because people have asked me, have Hogan ever showed racist tendencies? Hogan is the blackest white dude I ever met in my life. If that makes sense. How so? Because he just know, you, I can tell the man has been around African Americans. You can tell when white people have been around African Americans. You can tell when certain Caucasians have been around African Americans. It's just a certain swag they got. Yeah, it is, and you can hear it in their voice. You know what I'm saying? And especially what they do. So that's why I say influence. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. You know that still don't mean a person is not big, bigger than something like that. So, but if you talk to Hogan, you will see what I'm saying. Right. You know, same thing with uh, uh, Kevin Nash. Same thing. You could tell Kevin Nash knew everything about uh, R&B music. He's a basketball player also. Mm -hmm. Everything about R&B music. When I tell you everything, I thought I knew music. Kevin Nash eat me alive. (laughs) We used to, I mean, these are the conversations we used to have. Yeah. And he would bring up people. I'm like, damn, I forgot about that. I feel like, man, I like Kevin Nash no more than me. You know what I'm saying? What the, yeah. you, know, you don't supposed to know more than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So you can tell, you know what I'm saying? He been around. Okay, he been around a lot of brothers. So that's how you know all this. You you have to listen to this music to know it. You can't just look at the top 40 every week and go, okay, blah, blah, blah. You have to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? That's music. Right. You got to know it. You got to listen to it. So I bear no ill will with Hulk Hogan. None. Hulk Hogan was always good to me. Always cool. 